Hey you guys, so I just finished doing this really beautiful, super easy, soft and romantic curly look. I think that this hairstyle is perfect for Valentine's Day. You don't only have to use it for Valentine's Day, but I just think that it will fit the occasion. So if you want to learn how to do it, you can just keep watching the video and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can achieve this look. Also, I do have a Valentine's Day makeup video, which is the makeup that I have on right now. So I will put the link for that at the end of this video, and I will also put it down in the description bar so you can achieve this complete look by watching those videos. So let's get started. I'm using the Volume Maker by Shuyumura. This is a volumizing dry shampoo. I'm just applying it at the part and around the part and at the crown area just to give my hair a little texture and volume. Work it through. And next, we're going to be using the Fiber Architect by Kerastase to protect your hair from the hot tool. If you want something with more memory, you can use the KMS Hot Flex Spray. For this look, we're going to be using a one and a quarter inch curling iron. Section off your hair, leaving the bottom section down. Start by curling the hair away from your face and letting that section set. And then taking the following section, curling that towards your face. That's a trick for this look. You want some going away from your face, some going towards your face. You want to alternate the direction in every piece in each section, depending on what you did to the piece before. A little trick is if the clamp is facing the mirror that you're looking at, then the curl is going to be going away from your face. If the clamp is facing the wall behind you, then the curl will be going towards your face. That's a good way of knowing which direction you're at. Next, take the next section down and do the same thing, curling the first piece away from your face and then taking the following piece and going towards your face. You're going to be doing this throughout the whole head. You want to vary the size of each individual piece that you're taking to curl because you don't really want it to be such a structured and pattern look. You want everything to be almost random to give you that nice bouncy curly look. You can really see it here that the reason why we alternate the direction is because each individual curl bounces off one another, giving you a nice, full, and bouncy, voluptuous hairstyle. You can leave the front section out, although I'm doing this just because I have bangs, but this is going to be curled either way at the end. So you can see that I'm still alternating the direction of the curl and still varying the size of each individual piece that I'm picking up to curl. When you get to the front, just curl those pieces away from your face going off your natural part. Be sure to curl any pieces that may have straightened out. I'm using Paul Mitchell's Aupui Wild Ginger Finishing Spray. This is a firm hold hairspray that adds a lot of texture to your look. Now in the front, take a two to two and a half inch section and separate that into three different pieces. We are going to start off by braiding the front, taking pieces from underneath and feeding into the different strands, almost like a French braid. You can do a regular braid, but I think the look of the French braid is a lot softer around the face, and you're only going to be doing that for a little bit. Once you have a couple of inches worth of a French braid look, you can take the rest of that section and do a regular three strand braid. You want to leave some of the curl at the end out just to keep everything nice and soft. You want to make sure that you're happy with the length of the braid when you are secure it with a rubber band. Make sure that where you're placing it is underneath a section that'll fall over. I take the rubber band out because I don't want it to be too bulky. If you want to keep it in, that's fine too. You can take another bobby pin and pin it up so it doesn't move out of place. When you're ready, loosen up the braid a little bit just again to keep everything nice and soft. Take this time to spray down any flyaways that may have happened when softening up the braid. Tease the crown area and make sure that you don't see any bumps. This just gives a little bit of height. 
curl any pieces again that you feel may have straightened out or any pieces that you want a little extra bounce to. Finish it up with a lot of spray and you are all set. I hope you guys enjoy this look and have a happy Valentine's Day.